Okay, so this is going to be the first step going after the Divine Beast Von Naboris. So I'm going to start out from Gerudo Tower. First we're going to go to Karakara Bazaar. Car Bazaar is kind of like a bizarre place. It's not, it's too small to be a village, but it's not really a stable. It looks almost more like a flea market or something. It's like a few small places selling stuff. And Beetle does hang out there too. Vinaboris cutscene. There was one time I was doing a full playthrough, and I glided, I don't think I glided from the tower, I think I glided to that rock there, and then from that rock I glided over here, and I landed somewhere about like, yeah, like right like, kind of like this, I don't know if this exact same spot, but, you know, with one foot up and one foot down, and what happened is, right when I landed, it went to the cutscene, when it came back, I was stuck inside the rock. My one leg was stuck inside, and it was like, when I tried to walk to the right, tried to rock this way, I was inside the rock climbing on the inside. It was really weird. I could not get out. I tried to close my program and reopen it, and it was still stuck. I should have tried the obvious and just tried teleporting out of there, and sure enough, that worked. Let's go check out Kara Kara Bazaar here. Rizalfa tails, seared steak, roasted bass. Sava Sava. So yeah, 
Uh, Gerudo Town is where we have to go for Divine Beast Bonaboris. But they don't let men in, so we'll find a way around that. There's a Goron. There's Beetle. See what he's selling here. So he's got some Simmerwing Butterflies, Cold Darners, and Tireless Frogs. Okay, so there's really n nothing we to do here right now. It's just a good place to stop to see Beetle. You can cook stuff up if you want. Let's see if I can make some heat resistance. I don't, well, I guess I don't need any more than what I got. But this area gets really weird. Sometimes it's really hot, sometimes it's really cold. Like nighttime gets cold. Like right there. And in the daytime, if you check the temperature, it's 21 degrees. Sometime in the daytime, it'll get up to like 110 degrees. We're gonna head to Gerudo Town. I should have sat and wait until morning. the travel gate on that shrine. I've had enough of this. It's only 10.50 p.m. and I already got attacked twice. up to 41 degrees. The sand seal. You can ride those in the desert the way you ride horses. I'll, I'll demonstrate what happens if you try if you try to get in. One time I even tried this because there's no ceiling on top. Okay, I don't see anyone capturing me, and I got weapons, why couldn't I fight? Why 
What happens if I shoot at him? I'm kind of curious. Okay, I was just going to try to shield Perry. I didn't mean to talk, talk to her, so. I was just kind of curious what happened. I've never tried anything like that before, so. I'm going to activate this travel gate. Okay, here's what you want to do. You want to talk to this guy. So there's the clue. So now we, what we've got to do is go back to Karakara Bazaar. I'm going to get a sand seal they're really hard to get. I'm trying to sneak up on them like horses. See, it's like they see ya, and they weren't even looking. Oh, you know what? I wonder what would happen if I... Should these Revalis be able to get in? They'd probably kick me out right when I land on the ground. Oh, that was just a waste. like that, idiot. So I'm going to have to walk all the way back. I got an idea. I did the sand seals where I do the horses. Okay, you can't freeze sand seals. I guess that idea won't work. Maybe because it's 96 degrees down here, the icy rails might not work when it's that hot. But they do kill the fiery Lizalfos in the Elden region. Night's broad. Oh, I'm getting too hot. It's 107 degrees. Well, I kind of want the night's broadsword, but. See the soldier seal shield? I got a traveler shield. I'll get rid of the soldier shield. I think the soldier shield's like 12 points. 16.
You know, the one thing about this desert area is there are almost no guardians. I mean, there are a couple places in the mountains where I know there's one or two of them. I think one decayed one and one stalker, but other than that, it's like I haven't really run into any other ones. Same with up in the snowy mountains, you never see any up there. Seems like most of them are at central and then out kind of east. Okay, so we get back to Character Bazaar, go to this structure here, climb the ladder. There's another ladder to climb. Talk to this fool up here. So 600 rupees, go ahead and buy them. Oh. So, I guess I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video that you're going to need 600 rupees before going here. Link just found out it's a man. Okay, so now that we're dressed up as a woman, we can get into Gerudo Town. You know what this crazy as politics are getting to the Amsprezer? Probably aren't people offended that Link is dressed up as a woman. Personally, I try to stay away from politics altogether. I see good things and bad things on both sides. Okay, now, I'm kind of curious to talk to this guy. I've never really talked to him after changing the woman's outfit, but now you can walk in with no problem. Okay, so that's how you get into Gerudo Town. Now to see the second step of the Divine Beast, you check out the video Yiga Clan's Hideout. <laughs> 